I got the inspiration to start the Harlem Candle Company because I needed to give gifts to like 50 people during the holiday season one year. And I was not about to go shopping for all these people. And I also didn't have the money to go shopping for 50 people uh, for the holiday season. And I always loved when people gave me candles. I also had a friend who was a chemist who had made fragrance oils for different candle companies. And I decided to just ask him, hey, can I have some fragrance oils? Because I, I want to make uh, about 50 or so candles for my friends and family for Christmas. So he gave me this, these fragrance oils, and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos to figure out how to make candles. And I, I made about 50 in my kitchen, and I, I called it the um, La Maison des Bougies de Terry, Terry's House of Candles in French, and made my little labels, printed them on my printer, uh, jammed my printer a few times, went to Staples and jammed their printer. But I made my labels, and I put them in these little craft boxes and put ribbons on it. And I gave them as Christmas gifts. And my friends and family went crazy for the candles because they were unique scents. They have never smelled these before. And it was something that I actually made. And they thought it was so nice and so wonderful. But then they said, well, if I give you money, will you give, can you, can I buy some from you? Because I don't want to burn it if I can't get more. And maybe I'll only burn it on special occasions. So that's really why I started the Harlem Candle Company, because I realized I was on to something. People actually really liked it. And I had so much fun making the candles, branding it, even though I ended up changing the name. I had so much fun in the process of creating uh, a brand. And yeah, and so that's why I started the Harlem Candle Company. So after making my first batch of candles, I decided that I would experiment and make more candles, but I would call it the Harlem Candle Company. I was making these candles in my Harlem kitchen I looked up on the internet and found out that there was no trademark that existed for the Harlem Candle Company. So I applied for the trademark and I got it. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to be the Harlem Candle Company. But I also knew that the name Harlem is so significant and plays such, um, and has such a strong connotation when it comes to history and culture that I wanted to pay homage to all of the people who make Harlem so amazing. And those people being Duke Ellington, you know, Grammy award-winning musician, who was this incredible composer and pianist, and Josephine Baker, who really became super famous in Paris, used to perform in Harlem. Billie Holiday, who lived in Harlem, whose voice was just so magnificent, out of this world. Um, Langston Hughes, the writer and the poet, we, we used fragrance notes that were very reminiscent of his space. Langston Hughes loved to do his work very late at night. So when you smell the Langston candle, you smell elements of tobacco, but it's that sweet tobacco that, imagine this kind of sweet tobacco coming from a tobacco pipe. And then there's also some incense notes in there because Langston Hughes lived in Mexico at two points in his life. And when he lived there, he used to go into these really small churches that were very candlelit and dusky, and, and they had incense burning. And so he really liked that incense smell from these small churches in Mexico. So we really tried to infuse those symbols and those things that each of these people loved and to put it in a candle, to really to celebrate their life, to pass on a little bit of history, and to just add a little bit of elegance and beautiful ambiance to everyone's space. I now work with some of the world's most amazing perfumers. They do a lot of the perfumes for Givenchy and Joe Malone and Estee Lauder and Victoria's Secret. And which is, it's so much fun being able to work with such amazing artists because they're chemists, but they're very much artists because they're using music. They're using pictures. They're using history. They're using their own research to help capture the essence of these people and these places during the 1920s and 1930s in Harlem. Um, I also now sell uh, on my website. I also have a store on Amazon. I sell in four different Bloomingdale's locations. I'm in about uh, 10 gift stores and boutiques across the country. I do gifting with Google, YouTube, Facebook, a few private equity firms, and I have one client who's a billionaire who gifts with me every year. My company has become the gift of choice for 
a lot of um, Hollywood uh, productions and projects. So I did the candle for If Beale Street Could Talk. This was a, a, um, a book that was written by James Baldwin. And at the time uh, when James Baldwin wrote the book, he was living in a town called St. Paul de Vence in the Provence region of France. So I ended up using James Baldwin's garden as inspiration for the fragrance. And Annapurna Pictures, which is the movie studio behind If Beale Street Could Talk, um, reached out to me a year before the film was even out, uh, before the film was made. And I started working on this project in collaboration with them. And this was the gift they gave to all of the celebrities, all of the influencers, all of the journalists writing and talking about the movie they gave uh, my candle. And this candle is so beautiful. It has a, um, it has 22 karat gold and it has a ro it has a uh, rose because there's beautiful roses in James Baldwin Baldwin's garden. And it has a quote that says, love brought you here, James Baldwin on the, on the candle. So that was probably the highlight of 2018.